You deliver an infant with an anal rectal agenesis, which is more common in males than females and is usually associated with rectourethral fistulas. The embryonic basis for this fistula is... an imperfect partitioning of the cloaca. And what you can see here is there's a imperforate anus in this particular individual. And uh, this is uh, going to require a surgical intervention. And this fistula has fecal matter coming out through the urethra because of the fistula. So this is going to have more distal issues, which will tend to be stenosis-related, and the more proximal issues will tend to be fistula-related, and they will often have a um, uh, rectovesicular fistula that will pass the feces, as in the case of this small infant, uh, through the urine. So in essence, it's creating or behaving like a cloaca. This is sometimes associated with tracheoesophageal malformations and fistulas as well as cardiac and spinal problems. A 34-year-old pregnant woman is prepared in the hospital for delivery. The gynecologist decides to perform a pudendal nerve block using a transvaginal approach. Which bony structure will the physician use as a landmark for this injection? Hopefully, you'll know that the ischial spine will be the target that they'll be aiming for because it's a palpable bony prominence through vaginal exam, and it's an easily aimed at target through the ischial anal faucet.